Now this right here is my old trusty ThinkPad. I use this to test Linux distributions. And speaking of testing, the Linux distribution I currently have on here is KDE Neon, the um, unstable branch. And after using this laptop with KDE Neon for the better part of today, I think that I'm going to finally be able to switch back to KDE Plasma. Now, it was about six months ago or so that I went ahead and did a long-term review of Fedora. I forced myself to use Fedora for a month. And before that, I was heavily, I thought KDE Plasma was the only good thing. I thought GNOME was bloat. It was too modern. It was too Apple-esque. And it was about three weeks into that review that I decided, wow, this is actually a really nice workflow. It's very efficient. I love how everything's laid out, especially with the GNOME 40 had the horizontal workspaces, still does. But I really like that because I actually started using workspaces and it allowed me to work more efficiently. Switching over from KDE to GNOME, I did give up a lot of different customization options. And when I say a lot, I mean a huge amount. Just the stock customization in KDE Plasma is astronomical. GNOME, you have to put in a little extra legwork. Everything is done through extensions. It's not the most efficient when it comes to customization, actually theming. And in some cases, it's actually, they prefer you not to. <laughs> but I think pretty soon I'm gonna be able to go back home because I get to keep that workflow that I've uh, grown so fond of over on GNOME on KDE Plasma. So right now we are on this ThinkPad that I have this uh, KDE Neon installed on and it is currently running Plasma 5.24 beta. Uh, if we go ahead and scroll down here, there are a lot of changes. Uh, KDE Plasma hasn't really had any significant uh, feature changes. There's been a couple things here and there, but a lot of the uh, updates as of recent have mostly been bug fixes and general system improvements. But this is an update that includes something I'm really excited about, and that is right here under Window Management. And this is going to be the overview effect. If I go ahead and hit uh, the Windows key or Super or Meta, whatever, and W, it's it's basically the GNOME shell. And this is what, this is what I really love about GNOME: how you can easily access or see all your open windows and your workspaces at the same time. And you could also look up your applications, bookmarks, and things like that, including your open windows there. And I did attach this to the top corner, but it's not, I don't know if it's just this laptop, but you really got to throw it up there. You saw it kind of work there for a sec. This is an unstable branch, so that, that might get uh, be a little bit better in the future. But you can see here on this overview layout, we have all of our different desktops. I could go ahead and add more desktops if I'd like to go ahead and delete them or uh, delete those virtual desktops there. And then I could go ahead and of course drag these windows to other desktops. Let's throw OBS and desktop five over here. If it will let me, there we go. So you saw that moved it from one to five and then I could go back to desktop two. Life is good, throw my mouse up there. And then let's just say I want to open up Dolphin. Boom, Dolphin's now open. So it's really cool that somebody who loves the uh, GNOME shell like I do, I'm going to be able to actually get that in here. And I was playing around with some various extensions and things before this to try to get the same experience, but it's, it's, it's hit or miss depending on the extensions you're using. And this just works really good. If we go over here, this is the initial uh, merge request that was created about three months ago. So we have the overview with what I just showed you here, the request to merge, and a lot of the comments and whatnot. Uh, this wasn't enabled by default, so I logged in and I hit the Windows key W and nothing was happening. So it's like, oh, well. but I went, figured it out. All you need to do to go ahead and enable this is go over to your settings. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and go to, is it workspace behavior? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then what you want to do is go to desktop effects. And from here, you go ahead and search for overview. There it is. It was disabled by default. Give that a quick enable and you are good to go. If we go ahead and click on settings, you could change the uh, hotkey right there. And there aren't really too much settings. We have a quick change of the lookout mode. So we have natural and closest. I haven't tried this out before or as of yet. So let's see. Uh, I don't see a change yet, so I can't really speak on that. Let's switch that back to natural. Okay. Oh, I see. Just went ahead and changed the size of these windows. And at the moment, there are not too many settings. You have just a blur background check in addition to that layout mode and your hotkey. But if we go down in some of the comments, you can see there's been some discussion about various settings. The, he's worried about animating the blur radius. 
we can expect our users will ask for blur, for blur settings, things like that. Overall, I'm just really excited to uh, start using this again. This has definitely been a, a fantastic addition. If we go ahead and uh, I'm gonna disable the blur background and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, see, that's not too bad. But yeah, that is really about it. Well, over here we have the, um, the whole change log. I'm not gonna go through everything that has changed in this version of Plasma at the moment, but I will upon release, which I believe is February 8th. So if you aren't subscribed, you might as well, because otherwise you might miss that video. You don't want to do that. With all that, big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are fantastic. Thank you to everybody who watches these videos and supports the channel. Um, yeah, have a beautiful day. Anything I talked about will be referenced in the description as always, and goodbye.